Hi everyone, welcome back to Migraine Closet. So if you're trying to shop more responsibly, you've probably realized that ethical and sustainable shoes can be pretty difficult to find. And running shoes are even more difficult. So this summer, when I realized that my running shoes desperately needed replacing, I thought I would film the process of finding a new pair. So the first thing I'm going to type into Google is eco running shoes and just see what shows up. Now, I know that Adidas has a pair of recycled running shoes. I think Adidas or Nike. I think Adidas and Nike both have a pair of recycled plastic shoes, but I'm gonna keep those to the end if I can't find anything else. First thing that pops up is an article, which it looks like I've already read. I'm opening that up in another tab and just seeing if there's anything else. This is from 2010, so probably not really helpful. Here's one from Good On You. I'm gonna open that up. Uh, and this looks like a blog post from 2012. Again, a bit old, so maybe I'll skip that for now. Now, I am looking for shoes that I can run in. Like, they, they can't just be sneakers, they have to be made for running. And also, I really want shoes that I can try on here, which makes things a lot more difficult because Obviously, it's a lot easier if you can order from anywhere online, but I'd really like to be able to try them on. When I run, I tend to roll to the outside of my foot, so I need to make sure that they have really good support in them. So that's gonna make this a lot more difficult. But basically, my strategy is to see if I can find some brands, and then I'm gonna try to narrow it down to ones that have stockists in Germany, potentially, or maybe some German brands. My budget for this is between 100 and 200 euros. Okay, the people's movement. So this looks like an American company, but I'm gonna open it up in a new tab, see what else they have. Uh, okay, so Veja, I know that's another brand that's kind of on my list. I don't think they make one specifically for running, so I'm gonna skip over them for now. Bourgeois Bohem does not make running shoes, and Athletic does not make running shoes. Okay, I'm gonna then hop to this other article that I opened up. Sneaker brands, again, Probably not a great source for running shoes, but we'll see. So this actually looks like it could be a good option. I've heard of Eco Elf, but I did not know that they make shoes. I know they use a lot of recycled materials, I believe. So I'm gonna look into that. Ahimsa is a really cool brand, but I don't think, I'm pretty sure that they don't make any running shoes. And then, nope. Uh, these guys don't have running shoes. Indosol. Doesn't look like they're running shoes. Matt and Nat, not into their PVC use. I don't think they make running shoes either. Nay does not make running shoes. Veja again. So then there's the Adidas. Now Adidas actually has a pretty good rating on Good On You. When you're using rating sites, you wanna be careful to check how they mark their ratings, what's based on. It's not a brand that I personally would want to support. It was. It's only, it's only a shoe option that I would look into as a last resort. So this company I think is an American brand. Um, let's check out their women's. These are, these look like running shoes. Okay, so these are cool. They're made from plastic bottles. That's great. Natural dyes, water-based glues, really awesome. So I assume that they're vegan if they're all plastic as well, but I would obviously look into that more. Upcycled plastic, eco-conscious materials. It doesn't say whether these are running shoes or not. These look like walking shoes and not running shoes. So I'm gonna hop onto another brand. I'll definitely go more in depth on the things I'm looking at than I'm doing in this video, but I don't want this to be super long. So this is Eco Elf. Again, wasn't aware that they made shoes. So these look like sneakers. They are made from plastic bottles, which is pretty cool. So this is a cool company, but I am not sure if these would be good running shoes or not. So next we're gonna go back to Google and I'm gonna search maybe a different term. Maybe I'm gonna search ethical running shoes, um, Germany. And I'm gonna see if there's anything that I can find a local brand maybe. I'm okay with it not being super sustainable if I can support an ethical business. This goes back to what your priorities are and they can maybe change a little bit. My priorities for these shoes are definitely that they're vegan. I do not wanna be buying new leather. Sustainability and ethics are kind of on the same level for me. I obviously wanna buy something that is both, but if I have to choose one, I think I actually probably would go with an ethical company over a sustainable product that was made in a non-ethical way. So I'm gonna go the ethical route and then hopefully I can find a company that also has some sustainable aspects tied into them, but I would rather buy from an ethical company than a brand like one of the big 
brands like Nike or Adidas or those kind of brands where I'm not totally convinced on their ethics. So next I'm going to check Avisu. I'm not totally sure how you pronounce the store, but this is a German vegan shoe brand. So I can order from them. I unfortunately can't try anything on where I am, but I'll check their return policies. Maybe they have decent return policies. Also, they might carry brands that are also stocked where I live. So we're gonna see what they have sports shoe-wise. Also, they don't necessarily carry brands that are manufactured ethically. They carry all kinds of vegan brands. They also might not be super sustainable, but it's a good starting point. Let's look at these shoes. I haven't seen that. And I'm also gonna look at these Iowa shoes, or Loa, Loa shoes. So first we have these Neo Run shoes by Lunge. So these look just like the kind of running shoes that I'm looking for. Sort of a neutral style, good for running. It seems like they're made for running, which is awesome. They also say that the shoes are handmade in a factory close to Hamburg, Germany, using materials that are not only vegan, but also non-toxic. So that's really awesome. It sounds like they're made locally in Germany, which is great. They are made from polyurethane, which isn't as bad as PVC, but it's not really a sustainable material either. But these are definitely something I'm considering. They are in my price range. And because they're a German company, I can probably also find a stockist in my city so that I can actually try them on. So I'm gonna check out the other shoes that I also chose out. So these ones are also made from polyurethane. It doesn't say anything about the company though. So I might look into that company as well. And then finally, I also pulled up these shoes. There's not really much information about them. Made from microfiber, but it does say that they are produced in Slovenia under fair working conditions. So the brand obviously has some kind of ethical policy. So I'm also gonna look into this brand. So we'll start with the first one. So I'm gonna search. So on their website, I'm gonna first go to their about page. Looks like they've been manufacturing for over 30 years. I'll translate that to English. Social acceptable according to strict German guidelines. Germany has pretty good labor laws. So that's awesome that they list their suppliers on their website. That's a good sign that they're pretty transparent. And you can get more information for, from these different suppliers. So ideally, you could also trace the material probably and see where it was produced, how it was produced. It does say some of these suppliers care about their sustainable impact, so that's really good. Some of them have certifications. So yeah, so like so far this is looking pretty good. It's not super sustainable, like I said, because it's just made out of polyurethane, but the company does seem to be fairly transparent. They're also manufacturing locally. I'm also gonna look at their FAQ. So all our shoes are vegan, which is great. Okay, so they also use the Urquitex 100 standard, which is a standard about chemicals and toxicity when it comes to products. So the Urquitex have a bunch of different standards and 100 is actually their like lowest standard, but it still regulates a lot of um, ingredients and chemicals that can be used in production. And that's especially good when you're looking at synthetic materials because there are a lot of chemicals and potentially toxic chemicals that could be part of that process. So the Okotech certification is really helpful. Okay, so it says that they have a like stockist guide. It looks like they have some stockists in Cologne, which is awesome. So that's really good because that way I can actually try them on. So this brand is definitely on my short list and I'm going to quickly look at the other two brands and see what they have. Okay, so it says that they're also made in Europe. Um, I'll look into that a bit more. So they don't have specifically running shoes, but speed hiking, maybe? That sounds like running. <laughs> so they're synthetic, polyester, polyurethane. Again, not sustainable, but they are vegan. Let's pop over to their corporate responsibility. Okay, so this is good. They have restricted substances, a code of contact, all good to see. Again, I will read through those in more detail. And also with these companies I'm looking at, if there's anything that I want more information about or have questions about, I will send them an email about that. I don't love the style of the shoes as much as the other ones, but I am gonna see if they have any places, stockists that I can check. So they do have a German website, which is good. And they have a list of retailers. So they have quite a few retailers in Cologne. So both of these brands just at first glance seem pretty similar. They seem to have code of conduct and somewhat 
um, ethical manufacturing. Again, I'm gonna look more into that, but I would go with the first brand, the Lunge brand, just because of the style I prefer. Um, but I'm gonna keep them both on my list and look into them both more. And so the final one that we found is this shoe, which is by a brand called Soul Runner. So we're gonna look that up. So they have vegan shoes as well as leather shoes. So we're gonna look at their vegan shoes. I'm looking for a pretty neutral pair of shoes that I can run in, but I also could wear just around. So I'm gonna look at this pair of shoes. I don't know, the style is a little weird, the shape of them. I can't find information about what they're made of. It just says that they are vegan. Um, so that's not good. Let's see what other shoes they have. Maybe there's more information on a different pair of shoes. Again, I'm not, I don't know if I'm really into this style. None of them, okay, we'll check this one out. Okay, again, there's no information on what the shoes are made of, so I'm gonna look into their FAQs. They don't also, I haven't found an about us section, which to me is not really a good sign. I want companies that have a lot of information available about them, frequently asked questions, there's nothing there. I mean, I guess I could contact them for more information, but that's pretty disappointing. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this brand and I'm going to look more into that Loa brand, the Lun shoes, which I think right now, just style-wise, I'm really interested in this. So then there's the Movement brand, which we found earlier. Now, I'm not totally sure if they have shoes that are designed specifically for running, but I do really like that they use different kinds of sustainable materials, although I believe they are an American company, so it's probably difficult to try them on where I am. So I ended up getting a pair of shoes from Lunge or Lunga. I got the Neo Run model, and I went to one of the local retailers here in Cologne to try them on, but they unfortunately didn't have my size. However, they have a really good return policy, so I decided to order them online and try them on at home. I've had these shoes for about two or three weeks now, so I haven't used them a ton and I feel like I can't really give a good review of their performance or durability or quality, but they seem pretty good and they are pretty comfortable. In terms of their construction, the only thing I was a little disappointed in is that there seems to be a bunch of like glue showing around the bottom part where it's glued together, which I think is just an aesthetic thing, like the glue just, I don't know, there's too much or there's some extra around here. But other than that, the materials seem pretty good. But like I said, I've only had them for about two, I think three weeks now. I might have to get different insoles because I do roll to the outside of my feet. I'm apparently supposed to have more support along there which these don't do because they're just a regular kind of running shoe. But I'm gonna test them out a bit longer and possibly look into insoles. But so far they seem to work really well and I'm really happy with them. I was very careful with measuring my foot and following their size guide. And I was surprised that when I got the shoes they did feel like there was quite a bit of space in the front and I thought that they were maybe too big, but upon doing more research online, apparently you want that with running shoes. You want there to be about a thumb's width of space at the front of the shoe because your feet do swell up and expand when you're running. So that's something that's actually a good thing. So I found that following the size guide and using the exact measure of my shoe, I guess gave me the correct size of shoe. And having run in them, they do feel very comfortable. They don't feel like they're too big. My previous running shoes lasted so long, so I really hope that I can get a lot of wear and use out of these. So even though these shoes aren't the most sustainable, like I've mentioned in a lot of other videos, I think it's really important not to get caught up in the idea of trying to find the perfect item, especially with something that's more of a specific or specialty item like this, you definitely do have to make compromises, at least until there are hopefully a lot more sustainable options available. So I hope you found it helpful coming along with me on this little shoe shopping adventure. Thank you for watching and thank you so much to those of you supporting me on Patreon and I'll see you in the next one.